These are Samsung's new foldables, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3. Both very interesting devices for sure, but battery capacity and charging speed are not that great, at least on paper. To compare, I brought in their predecessors, the Z Flip and the Fold 2, as well as the S21 Ultra, as that is Samsung's non-foldable flagship. All of these devices are in the same settings, with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and location enabled, and have matched the brightness. But let's jump right in with YouTube. As I mentioned, the Flip has a fairly small battery at 3300 mAh. The Fold 3 has a 4400 mAh large battery, actually slightly smaller than on its predecessor. And that's really not a big battery considering you have a 5000 large mAh one on the S21 Ultra, and that has a smaller screen. An hour into YouTube, we already see a good indication of where we're heading, but it's all still fairly close. The S21 Ultra is in the lead with 94% and both the flips are not doing that well. 9 or 10% lost in an hour of YouTube is not all that great. Moving on to some web browsing then, where it auto refreshes a web page every 30 seconds. Both the flips have a 6.7 inch 1080p display. As you can see, it's a little longer than usual. And the big improvement on the Flip 3 is that it now has 120 hertz. So I'm very curious to see how that affects battery life compared to its predecessor. Now on the other side, the S21 Ultra has a 6.8 inch display, so slightly larger, also 120 hertz, but it has a Quad HD resolution. Now the Folds both have a 6.7 inch display, also with 120 hertz. It kind of has a wonky resolution somewhere in between 1080p and Quad HD. And as far as I can tell, there isn't too much of a difference between those displays. Now, obviously the folds also have a cover display. At 6.2 inches, it's also a very tall display, taller even than on the flips. It also has somewhat of a wonky resolution. And now the massive improvement is also that 120 hertz refresh rate, which is very nice. I feel like most of the time you do actually flip it open and use the big display. But for some apps, it did make sense to test them both open as well as closed and compare the battery lives, which is exactly what I did in this round. Here, the results are quite interesting. Both the folds lost 4% when using the big display. The Fold 2 lost 4% while closed and the Fold 3 lost 3% using the cover screen, which is somewhat surprising given that it now also has a 120 Hertz display. Moving on to some Instagram Reels. This is again an app where I feel like it makes sense to also test the cover screen. Now flipping them open, you can see an inherent issue of the Fold's aspect ratio. You have massive black bars on the Fold 2, which are not there on the Fold 3. And that is actually because of a new software feature, which allows you to force apps to run in full screen mode, which is very nice. But as you can see, it still crops the content as it's not made for such a weird aspect ratio. With three hours in, the flips are still tied at 71%, not doing so great. And both the folds are fairly close. The Fold 2 is actually narrowly ahead with 79%. Interestingly enough, now it's reversed. When using them closed, the Fold 3 lost a percent more than the Fold 2 did. And when using them open, both lost 4%. Now I wanna run a few benchmarks, starting with Geekbench 5. And this is quite interesting because all of these devices have different internals. The Flip 2 is obviously in last place. Next is the Fold 2. Both the new Fold 3 and Flip 3 are tied. Makes sense as they have the same processor. And surprisingly, the S21 Ultra is slightly ahead, which is some good news because in the past, Exynos chips did not perform as well as the Snapdragon counterparts. Testing the graphics performance, the differences are even more impressive. The Exynos destroys the Snapdragon competition. And here, surprisingly, the Fold 3 actually beats out the Flip 3 by quite a bit, even though, again, they use the same chip. Maybe it has something to do with the RAM. Now, in the 3D Mark benchmark, all the high-end chips are tied and the older chips are behind, which is to be expected. The Fold 3, the Flip 3, and the Flip all lost 5% in that benchmark round. The Fold 2 only lost 4% and the S21 Ultra only lost 3%. Now, I actually want to do a little standby test and after letting them rest for 10 hours, the results are very interesting. Starting from right to left, the S21 Ultra lost only 2%, which is very impressive and great news for, again, the Exynos chips. 3% lost on the Fold 2, 4% lost on the Fold 3, 5% lost on the Flip, and a whopping 6% lost on the Flip 3, which is not great. Now, it's 9 a.m., so we're gonna have to join a Zoom meeting. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Zoom is always an app that drains the battery quite a bit. We lost 14% on the S21 Ultra, 
16 on the Fold 2, 18 on both the Fold 3 and the Flip 3, and a crazy 26% on the original Flip. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Moving on to some gaming with Subway Surfers. By the way, if you haven't noticed already, one of the new features on the Fold 3 is that hidden selfie camera, which isn't a massive deal, but it does add to the overall aesthetic. Again, I feel like this is an app that you could both use open and closed. And interestingly enough, the Fold 3 actually did quite a bit better when using the full display. I'd say probably due to a processor optimization as it overall did quite a lot better. The original flip is still losing with the S21 Ultra having more than double the battery left. Now let's move on to some Netflix. Again, another example of that weird aspect ratio not benefiting you that much, at least in apps where you consume video content. We're past the six hour mark and the original flip is not doing well with only 15% remaining. The flip three is doing a little better, but not all that great either. Both folds are doing decently and the S21 Ultra is still cruising at 49% remaining. Onto some Spotify. The Flippy Gang is now in the home stretch, 6% on the Flip and 10% on the Flip 3. And no surprises here, the S21 Ultra is still dominating. Let's move on to some TikTok. This is actually an app where I don't force it into full screen mode. So we have the black bars on both the folds. And this is actually very surprising. In this round, the original flip actually makes a comeback somewhat. It started out with 4% less than the flip 3, yet it beat it. The flip 3 was actually the first one to go. At 7 hours and 58 minutes, it's a decent result, but not all that impressive, I guess. The original flip lasted 9 minutes longer, so I guess they're somewhat tied, but it is still impressive that the flip made a last minute comeback. Now, just comparing those two devices, if you think about it, the Flip 3 is actually doing pretty well. It has a stronger processor and 120 Hz compared to 60 Hz with the same battery capacity. Now, granted, compared to other devices, battery life is still not great. The others are still going strong. Over 8 hours in, we still have that 3% lead of the Fold 2 at 21% remaining, 18% on the Fold 3 and a very impressive 35% on the S21 Ultra. Now we're actually going to move on to a very intense task, 4K video recording. And this drains battery like crazy. Now the Fold 3 was the first to go out of the remaining three, making it to 8 hours and 50 minutes, which is a good result. But it's a little sad to see that it is performing worse than its predecessor. We just had that 9 hour mark, we're going to move on to some Twitch streaming. And at 9 hours and 13 minutes, the Fold 2 died lasting 23 minutes longer than its successor. I guess it's not all that surprising because it does have a slightly larger battery and it only has a 60 Hz cover screen, but it's still a little disappointing because you always think newer devices should be better in every way possible, obviously also in battery life. The S21 Ultra though is still cruising. 10 hours in, it still has 7% remaining, which is very, very impressive. Gonna jump into some more light gaming and it made it to a crazy 10 hours and 38 minutes. Very, very impressive stuff here. It not only shows how well the Exynos chip does, but that battery life is definitely one of those things that you have to sacrifice when going for a foldable smartphone. Now that they've all run out of battery, we're now gonna do a quick charging test. To be honest, all of these devices don't have particularly fast charging. The Folds and the S21 Ultra have 25 watts fast charging and both the Flips have 15 watts fast charging, if you can even call it that. The older generation, so the original Flip and the Fold 2 actually still have a charger in the box, but the rest, the Fold 3, the Flip 3 and the S21 Ultra do not, which is disappointing given how expensive these devices are. But I guess it's a fair trade as they both got a pretty big price cut compared to their predecessors. Now 15 minutes in the Flippy Gang, not surprisingly, is in last place at 22 or 23% charged. Both the folds are slightly ahead at 24% and surprisingly the S21 Ultra is ahead with 29% which is weird because it doesn't have any faster charging and the battery capacity is the largest out of all of them. Half an hour in we still have a very similar trend. The flips are in last place. Surprisingly the original flip is actually 2% ahead. Both folds are tied at 47% and the S21 Ultra is ahead even more with 59% charged. An hour in, the S21 Ultra is still in the lead at 93%. The Flip 3 is in last place with 72%, actually quite a bit behind the Flip. I think that charging brick I used for the Flip 3 might be defective. 
The S21 Ultra was actually the first to reach 100% at 1 hour and 14 minutes. A decent result, but let's not kid ourselves, it's not very fast charging and a OnePlus 9 can charge in half that time. Next up, 1 hour 24 minutes, the Fold 3. 1 hour 27 minutes, the Fold 2. No surprises here, as the Fold 2 has a slightly larger battery. And both the flips took around 1 hour and 40 minutes. Not a great result, given their mediocre battery life. You'll probably want faster charging, considering how often you'll have to end up charging these devices. Let me know what you guys think of these results, the battery life and the charging speed of the new foldables. I'll have more videos on the new Flip 3 and the Fold 3 coming up on the channel very soon, so definitely make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the notification bell to not miss those videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.